What I'm going to do now is run through basically what we do as a pre-start uh, check sequence to make sure that the console is doing what it should be doing. <coughs> the first thing we check is the paging. So I select which microphone I want to use. That can be left headset, right headset, or the console microphone. I select which areas I want to page to. And if possible, I will monitor the paging to make sure that it goes to where I want it to go. This is a test page from the Playhouse, a test page from the Playhouse, thank you. So, the process I went through there, I select the mic, I select which zones I want to use, and then I use the push to talk button and hold that down whilst that's going on. The preamble bells, as you just heard, played out automatically <coughs> whilst, I was, uh, whilst I was making the page, and that is one of the functions of the store and forward system. In this case, it's, it, I have to wait. Uh, for the preamble bells. However, if, it, if somebody else was calling, I would not notice. I would just continue to page and the store and forward system would look after that. If I wanted to pay a, uh, a pre-recorded announcement to the foyer, I would select which zone. So here I've selected foyer. I've selected which announcement, which is Playhouse Resume. So the, the show's about to recommence. And all I have to do, similar to hitting the push to talk button, is I hit the play button. And we can now hear the message being played out to the foyer. Now that the show's commenced, I can send the auditorium mics to the dressing rooms and to the TV feed. Or if there was a sound console in here, I could send the program feed. Over here I have my monitor select, so I can select which one of six channels I'm going to send to which one of my four monitors. Down here I have my no entry light, so I can choose no entry to not let anyone into the venue. Please enter when the doors open theatre closed or I can have two predefined messages. And up in this top section here I can select which cue lights to fire. So one press to stand by, another press to go or I can hit the master go button if I want to send everyone at once. I also have cancel buttons that will allow me to cancel a fake call. Lastly the section here deals with the stopwatches which we can see here and the clocks. So these are changeable. I can drag them around, I can put them where I want and I can make them larger if required. So I have a, a real-time clock there which is synchronized to the network and updated daily. I also have the ability to fire off a timer here which could be a, a count up or a count down. I hear what you want to say.